In this free CAD tutorial, we'll walk you through how to model an air duct using the additive pipe feature in the Part Design Workbench. After you created a new document, make sure the Part Design Workbench is selected because for all steps, this workbench will be used. Now, create a new sketch for the profile and choose the XZ plane to sketch on. Click the small arrow next to the Rectangle tool. Then choose Centered Rectangle. Click on the origin and drag the mouse. Enter 100 mm for the horizontal distance. Press Tab and enter 50 mm for the vertical distance. Press Enter to apply. Click Close to exit the fully constrained sketch. Now it's time to create a second sketch. You can do that in the task menu here, but you can also use the toolbar, the same will happen. Select the YZ plane, which is perpendicular to the first profile sketch. On this plane, the sketch for the path will be created. The polyline tool will be used for this. Select it here. Click on the origin and drag the mouse to the right. When the line is horizontal, click again. Then create a vertical line. Finally, add one horizontal line. Click to create it. Click right mouse button twice to exit the polyline tool. Now select the dimension tool. Click on the first line and drag the mouse to the up or down side. Click again and enter a 150 millimeter length, then press enter. Now add a 125 millimeter length to the vertical line. And finally another 150 millimeter length to the last horizontal line. Now it's time to add curves with the Sketch Fillout tool here. Click on this vertex to add a fillet. Also click on the other vertex to apply one there. Right click to exit the Sketch Fillet tool. Click on both arcs in a row to select them. Then apply an equal constraint to the arcs by clicking this button. Select the Dimension tool to add a radius to one fillet. Click on the arc, drag the mouse, and click again. Enter a 50 mm radius and press Enter to apply. Click Close to exit the fully constrained sketch. Consider subscribing if you like my content. Thanks. Now both sketches have been created as you also see here in the tree. Select the profile sketch with the rectangle and select the additive pipe tool. The profile sketch is already selected now, as you see here. Now add the path sections by clicking the Add Edge button. Select the first edge and click the Add Edge button again. Repeat all steps until you have selected all edges. The additive pipe, or sweep, is completed now. Click OK to apply. The final step is to make it hollow. Select an end face and click on the thickness tool. Enter 2 mm for the wall thickness of the duct. Before you continue, click on the select button. Select the other end face. Both are selected now. Click OK to apply. You see both ends are open because you selected those faces inside the thickness tool. You might want to check out my 3D printing channel for more tutorials and projects.